For the latest film interviews, reviews and everything making news in pop culture, subscribe to Film Companion now. Honestly, when uh, my my sister and everybody was talking, where will you all go? I said, wherever we'll go, you all have to come together. Said, what? How ridiculous is that? And what kind of a Barjatia family film you make? I was just going to say, I'm sad, sad. The good part is that there's so much good work which is coming, and a lot of talented people are getting really good work. Now, everybody's gotten work. I think everybody's almost. We have everybody's got their hands full of work. Now, the question will be that how do you stand out? And I think it'll only be with excellence. It'll only be if you excel. Yeah, I mean, it's so lovely to see you. Congratulations! Thank you. Same here. Congratulations! <laughs> are in order. Thank you. Uh, you know, you made such a pretty bride that you put a smile on all our faces. And and even now, I love the Jojo Rose. I love I, I love the red bangles. It's, <laughs> you're just so pretty. I have lots of questions about that. But first, thank you. First, I have to ask you, Yami. I feel like I can no longer keep track. of all the films that you're doing all right because it feels like every time i look at your social media there is a look or there's an announcement or there's an upcoming thing um so so okay here are the ones i know of there's a thursday there's dasvi there's bhoot police which is coming up um there's also uh, uh what what else tell me there's, lost I'm not shooting for lost right now, <laughs> which you're shooting for, and I saw that it was in some places. I saw it as lost in Kolkata, but I it's yeah. it's just lost, is it? It's just lost. Yeah, I'm not lost in Kolkata. I'm I'm just shooting for lost, trying to find ourselves somewhere in lost. <laughs> okay, so tell me, how many films are you doing, and does it ever get overwhelming? How busy you are right now? Uh, you know what's happened? I think I was I waited for this time. since really long and i think it's all come together uh you know suddenly and i'm very thankful for it but yeah i have to make up for all that in i think one year it seems <laughs> or i feel in my journey post wiki donor or maybe a couple of films has begun now so i think i have to just somehow um uh, you know just absorb myself and just be happy and never complain about it yes it can get a little overwhelming especially when it comes to scheduling and i don't want to be in a space where you're not giving enough time for homework for every film and every character i don't believe in just having volume of films and announcements and which is great but uh doesn't make any sense if you're not adding anything or doing something different and is they just then end up sounding like pr plugs and i i need to um work a lot on myself which i needed and i'm still doing it it'll happen with every film but uh i'm just glad that also whatever i'm doing or whatever i'm choosing to be a part of they're all different from one another in be it in terms of genres and roles and just a little time in between to work on them will be great and yes i wouldn't complain to spend a little time with my husband which i haven't got to now <laughs> i was just going to say where in the middle of all these films did you find the time to get married <laughs> you know as much as it sounds like an irony but i owe this to uh, the pandemic uh, you know the timing of it it's it's really it's re- feels very weird to say this but the kind of schedules we both have and the kind of um, commitments we both have we didn't see it happening this year honestly and we didn't want to obviously this is not something that you want to rush in through you know such an important moment of your life but um as it said that whenever it's you know god's you know, you know will or whenever it's meant to be just meant to be and this is we didn't plan it and i think it happened in the most beautiful way this is this is actually what i wanted this is who we are and i'm i'm glad that uh, it resonated with so many people and with you know people whom i prob- probably i don't even interact or connect with so many uh, you know fans and social media and everyone it just felt they all came in became a part of a small celebration and really celebrated what you know we believed in so it was a totally impromptu wedding absolutely absolutely I mean, no, how how did you guys just looked at each other and said let's get married <laughs> no no we had started no no itna aisa itna bhi nahi tha it's not that kind of thing it's not for me <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, no we started interacting during the promotions of uri 
and uh, that is when we started knowing each other and then the friendship started and uh, you know it had been almost a year and a half and uh, actually over two years and um, and yeah that's about it and we were we were just like okay let's get married and our families were equally happy or probably even more happy uh, we was just supposed to get engaged and then we were going to take you know uh, the, you know time take its due course whenever the time was right for my, uh, for a wedding but my nani was like listen this engagement and all is not a part of our culture so how about getting married so i'm like okay and then nadita <laughs> asked he said are you ready you want to uh, shall we i said i don't know what it means honestly are you ready i don't know i still don't know i am still not able to absorb the feeling that i'm married i just feel the same i just feel maybe more happy <laughs> and i said yeah okay done everybody is happy everybody is good and let's do it let's do it at our home in himachal and just went for it it's it's so beautiful just you in that red and those trees behind those images <laughs> were, were just so lovely thank okay. you tell me tell me yummy but you still haven't told me how many films are you doing so apart from these i've this is my fourth film that i'll be completing in pandemic and apart from that there are um, three more and which are lined up and i will hopefully be able to complete it through by the end of the year and um, if we not hit by another wave so it's it's been me it's been quite challenging really challenging in a lot of ways but um, you got to take that risk you got to take that challenge and and not complain when you get something which you've been yearning for and you feel that you deserved it so no complaints just just hoping and just with every film i'm curious with every film there is an inquisitiveness that is it you know have i given my best is it something um you know i i really want to explore that path where i know it sounds very ironical when we say in a sentence but work towards becoming more and more natural with your every performance more and more believable with your every performance it's very easy to you know just read a script and easiest thing to just say your lines but to actually be in that moment can be the most challenging thing that you have to learn and there's so many actors when you watch their performance and you feel how do they just do it how is their comedy as effortless as some of the most intense scenes and that's the journey that's the journey that i want to be on regardless of the genre it doesn't matter even if it's a booth police with where it's an out and out entertainer or anything i i want to be on a path where i'm learning something with every film and not just filling up filling up you know um films and just the star cast and just okay let's move on there has to be something substantial coming out of it and i'm assuming there was no time for a honeymoon no i think this is a uh, this may, this word is just made up i feel by just some people there was no time for aisa kuch hota hi nahi hai aisa kuch i think hota hi nahi hai mujhe nahi lagta aisa kuch hota i i think theek hai matlab ha obviously you wish aapka man karta hai aap you know thoda aur time spend karo families ke sath and we both honestly when uh, my my sister and everybody was talking where will you all go I said wherever we'll go, you all have to come together. I said what? How ridiculous is that? And what kind of a um, you know, Bharatiya family film you make? I was just going to say, we're together. But you know, it's uh, we are. That's who we are as people. We love having our families around and just you know spending time with each other. I think that's that's how. I think that's what life is when you're not working to build up something which gives you happiness, which makes you feel. like home and uh, yeah. <laughs> i i have to tell you that when vinod and i got married um we were together for about a week and then his brother and their best friend joined us so i'm completely on board with the family <laughs> on the honeymoon there's no issue but you know yummy you talked about when you were doing uri and you said that you had a lot of questions about your character um and you said aditya told you that a good script should have all the answers to all the questions you have provided you read it enough times so that you know the first word of the next page uh, that was the advice he gave you did you follow this first of all amazing how you remember the advice that but it's a, it's amazing advice it's, it's amazing advice absolutely to the t i follow that advice because it is so true 
you know we keep leaning on when we keep looking for things and references which is great you do need it sometimes but there are certain scripts which i've just done or been a part of where you don't have many references where you don't have you don't know what to watch you don't know what to do and um uh, are you doing it are you doing your homework in our what is homework so he said if it's a good script yes that's true all the answers are in it till you it tires you that listen i've read it enough number of times that is that is the level of dedication you, and time you need to give to your script i feel um, that's very very imperative and the more i i started doing this as an actor it's really helped me it's really helped me not at all just for my character but to to have an uh, to have a wider perspective for the entire script um, as it is i think when you when you do a film and when you really feel a script it's uh, there's no chance that you cannot not think in totality for what works for the script you cannot you don't come out as a hero it's a script which is always the hero if the, if the script works you work it can never it, it it'll be painful if you say you know she performed really well the character was good but the film was not you know up to the mark so you'd want the film you know to stand out and then we all follow so absolutely i i swear by that and it it it's it really works i mean that's there are some really small uh, things these details which i think um, make a huge difference in in the long run tell me you remember we spoke yeah i mean it was a few days after bala um just like four or five days you know bala had just sort of exploded and i remember you and i talking and and you said to me that um you know your journey has been tough because you didn't come in with a last name you didn't have friends within the industry um and i remember you saying that bollywood can break you um now yami now that you have the success and you have the brands and you have the millions of followers on instagram what are the challenges of this phase i'm not really taking it as yes a lot has changed after our conversation between there've been a lot of films there've been a lot of good work that has happened but i'm really trying to uh distance myself from these things when it comes to you know so many followers on instagram or so many your brands of course these things are really important but i i constantly try and remind myself what got me here which is my craft which is my work and the belief that if i'm saying i need good work then i need to be worthy of it i need to deserve it and then only come with with what i put it out there so i think this is the only thing that i'm um, i'm feeling and as i said i don't say any, any of these things that i don't come with a last name or i don't have any that kind of circle that Uh, you know that i'm i'm working my career with them or you know i have anyone looking out looking out for me and i'm very happy with that i'm very happy with the fact that you're not complaining about this i'm not complaining and that feeling is great when uh, you don't owe anyone anything it's your own mistakes it's your own success of course there are always people behind there there is your family there is um i'm glad that they you know with who's who's family Uh, and you need a very strong emotional support of course we're all strong in our own ways everybody's had their own journey everybody has their own experiences we're as good as what we've experienced but deep down within i think we all everybody has uh, you know has, is is full of emotions is carrying a lot of emotional baggage that now that we're talking about mental health and so many things deep down all of us are vulnerable in some way or the other but you realize that at the end of the day it's um it's your work yes which is very important but that's not the only thing in life you need that sanity you need um the the problem is because the nature of the job is as such we carry everything home we carry everything to our heart carry everything you know everything becomes so personal even if someone says something about you write something about you which you like are how come this person didn't understand what um, you know my performance was or could be anything could be anything we carry everything inside and we somehow start conditioning ourselves to be able to detach from our work and also have a parallel life which uh, gives you that peace of mind otherwise 
this is a place where you know you don't realize a day is just already over it's already you know the next day and you keep again it's just it just becomes a cycle it just becomes a habit and routine so i think for me the biggest learning will be of course to keep doing good work to keep my sensibility on when it comes to uh, scripts to balance it out with what i'm um, uh, you know the kind of work i want to do and the, what kind of with the kind of setup and industry that we're working in the kind of audience we have to kind of balance all the aspects and have a life have a good life where i'm you're happy you're happy and you can enjoy what you're doing i mean we constantly there is so much stress around and uh, i think we need to stop taking a lot of things seriously and and just take things for what they are and just breathe <laughs> that's, that's lovely on. yes to, to <laughs> breathe breathe would be lovely um, you know i remember one more thing you said in that conversation we had was that i i'm not a networker i i don't go out and sort of yeah. network that's not something <laughs> you can do so tell me tell me does that change now that you and aditya are this sort of you constitute this kind of power couple but i don't know him at all <laughs> but but i tried to interview him after uri and he didn't even give me an interview so i'm assuming he's even more private than you are <laughs> absolutely absolutely and just right after the wedding there was suddenly you know these um endorsements and these things which you know you you're offered and uh, because of you the power couple and all that we don't know all of that And, and i know him he's really shy and i would respect that i i in fact this is one of the things that i really adore about him he's a self made man and i have so much respect in him for him for the way he's carried himself through and through i know i've been a part of this journey i've known his journey even if um you know it's uh, it's just been about two and a half years but i know a lot about him that defines his character which uh, means the most uh, you know in this in this world your name your fame your respect your films all that is great but your ethics and the core value system that a person holds i think that's that's commendable about aditya and i actually find it really really fascinating when he's he's shy and he's he's uh, you know has his own space and that makes him who he is and for nothing i think i'm going to change it and um uh, and yeah so i i don't know this thing about power couple i think a couple or as an individual i think you you are you're strong i think that that is what maybe we make some power couple but networker yes i think uh, again one of the things which both of us have in common we both not very social people yes we have a very small social circle uh, but not really very very difficult to move out of that or move out of that's one thing which i think uh, we'll have to do without i'll have to accept that okay i cannot get <laughs> so let just that be you can't work on everything and you need not you need not and so was aditya so we enjoy so after our my shoot or his day of you know his long day of work we come back we cook a meal we all enjoy have a good laugh watch something nice and and that's it <laughs> it that's comes it. to an end so we enjoy that tell me tell me yami what what are the rules of engagement when husband and wife are in the same field of work you know do you take his advice for roles that you might choose is he discussing uh, the superhero vicky koshal film with you uh, you know <laughs> what are their lines are there like sort of very specific lines that i won't talk about this and you can't talk about this not really i think we've kept it very fluid and um, by the way i have read the script and i think it's it's one of the best scripts that i've read ashwatthama How yeah, I can tell you at least that <laughs> so I'm, I'm 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 very very excited to to see. I think one of the um, Aditya's mind, the kind of mind he has and the kind of vision he has. I don't think that's it's very easy to contain it in a bracket. And I think it's it's just phenomenal. It's um, again he's someone who doesn't be- believe in making projects. He's he wants to uh, believes in cinema, believes in creating something. why not take you know the industry ahead the cinema and our industry ahead and 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 do something which we talk about when it comes to other industries and other uh, languages yeah. so uh, and for me yeah we we don't have really a hard and fast rule that oh 
you know we're going to keep it absolutely you know out of form or absolutely i'm not going to discuss it with you know i i discuss it as uh as because i should discuss it with my parents also i still do that you know this is the film i'll call my mom or i'll call my dad so now there's another member added in in that so i and i love doing it just to take a perspective because i believe in their perspective and he always keeps telling me that yami you have a really good sense of scripts of course some of them you would have to excuse me which i was also aware <laughs> that what were those films but then that's fine i think it's it's a journey and you um that's okay you got to experience everything Absolutely. but he said oh, you, you 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 stick to it you always listen to your gut i think you have a really good sense of script overall and you must stick to it and 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 for him also if there's something which he feels you know which he just wants to share that you know this is what i thought of why not i we're both open to discussion to an extent that yes if there is something which i'll feel that you know i really want to do and um it might not have we may not share the same perspective but if i feel that no this is something i really want to do or there's something about it which i can't articulate but something in me tells me i should do i'll do it and same with him and i think that's how it should be because at the end of the day it should be our decision i remember also when we chatted you talked about the pressure on women in the hindi film industry to look a certain way all the time uh you know because of course uh, the paps were out and everybody has a phone even if it's not you know wherever you are people have a phone uh, the pressure to be a brand uh, on an actress you know the pressure to kind of cater to your social media audience which is a whole other set of people and in the millions with success yami do you feel that pressure more or less it depends what success means to you and for me it means when people accept you for what you are and you make those rules for yourself as i said yes i'm very much aware that we're in an industry where everything is out there everything is expected to be out there about you even some of the most personal things yeah. people might say that you know your fans want to know or this is what makes you connect with them this is how they feel connected if they feel or oh, even she is someone like that and so am i and it gives you that you know that connect great but uh, i i don't i wouldn't want to be in a space where i'm really overpowered or i'm re- i feel very overpowered or i feel very overwhelmed about this entire scenario i don't think the kind of person i am i can do that of course we have our teams and entourage and people taking care of our you know um, digital work and everything oh, of course yeah. they are but that also you need to drive you need to be driver of of that side of your team also where um your where all the accounts don't start looking identical because this is in trend now come on we have to put out a picture you're doing yoga you have to put out a picture i'm like listen guys i can't do this if i feel like i will and there's something which you know so you just funny. learned and something which looks just picture perfect i'm like listen the whole idea of yoga is defeated if you know this is what it comes back to <laughs> so yeah, you're doing me... yoga post a picture <laughs> <laughs> and most of it done like i will do and i feel like the times when you just know okay, you want to share something but i think social media um it it started with, with a very different purpose maybe to connect and and again everybody will have their own meaning and i can't speak for anyone else but for me it was something to do outside my work something to do which interests me otherwise otherwise i have my i know what's happening with everyone i know but problem is that talking about this whole pressure and branding and looking and we ourselves somewhere contributing to it so it's become a circle yeah you know and uh, you know everyone we complain probably of too much paparazzi but then somewhere deep down everybody is expecting also to be fabbed you know and you dress in a certain way there has to be an airport look or this is how you should look when you're coming out of somewhere um i i would not want to get into my head it's fine i think i look decent enough uh i look uh, appropriate if i can say and whatever i want to wear and i you can't deal with so much maybe this was the reason um when we talk about you know uh, you know a couple of days back a couple of weeks back dilip sir dilip sir he passed away and uh, all of us are of course you again go, go back to his films and you know the kind of work they've done they've left a legacy yeah and and i i think to myself 
I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I think to myself, was it apart from the fact they were so talented and so passionate about their work? I'm not taking off, taking away passion from my generation. Yeah. But is it also because they were less distracted or they were less burdened under um, these things that we ourselves have created today? And uh, maybe, I don't know, because there's seldom any complaint. The frames are picture perfect. The expressions are on point. You, you pick up any of those classic films until 70s, especially. You know, of course, then you have an advance. So you have, you're going to be working with Pankaj Kapoor, with Pankaj Sir soon. Oh. So I'm so looking forward to it. Yeah. And I'm like, is it, I question, I say, is it because, I'm sure they must be having, dealing their own pressure with their own pressures, which must be there at that time. But was it because there were less distractions and there were less these things that they could focus more on the craft than these 10,000 things that, uh we've been become a part of so i think again your own journey you make your own rules i make my own i made my mind i made peace with okay this is those things if i need to repeat something i will repeat something i'm sorry i'm not going to hire someone just to dress me up to look go from one place to another i can't do that <laughs> and uh and and yeah and uh, the thing is the good part is that there's so much good work which is coming and a lot of talented people are getting really good work. Now, everybody's gotten work. I think everybody's almost, we have, everybody's got their hands full of work. Now, the question will be that, how do you stand out? And I think it'll only be with excellence. It'll only be if you excel, you know? So, uh, and for that, you need that little focus. And that, so uh, maybe, I don't know how others do it, but yeah, I'd like to, to be happy doing whatever I'm doing. And, feel do something which I connect with and not something which is forced upon me because it's that's the way it is I, I can't do that and this is the time this is exactly the reason why it took so long to reach her because I I never wanted to uh, do something which I, I don't feel from my heart it'll never go well with me it'll never get me anything so so stick to who being you know who you are and uh, Things will happen. It'll take time, but it'll happen eventually. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, well said. And, and good on you for making your own rules. Please continue to do that. And really, genuinely, congratulations again. It's always so lovely to see you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. And I know you'll say, please call me. <laughs> but it just doesn't come naturally. So I'm going to stick to what I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for always being so warm and being really honest with, with you know, what you feel and um, just having a conversation versus, you know, um, anything else. So it's always nice. It's very refreshing. And have a great shoot. Cannot wait to see you on screen soon. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. I'm looking forward. If you like this video, please subscribe to Film Companion.